The reaction to Idaho's lieutenant governor participating in a conference run by white nationalists and anti-Semites last week keeps coming. The America First Political Action Conference was created by known white nationalist, misogynist, anti-Semite, and Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes. The event was filled with far-right political speeches where attendees cheered Vladimir Putin, celebrated the January 6th attack on the Capitol, and applauded many racist views. On Friday, they played a video from Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan, who apologized for not being there in person in Orlando, Florida. Well, when we asked her about her participation in it yesterday, she couldn't quite distance herself from the event or what was said at the event. But today, the man she's running to replace as governor, Governor Brad Little, well, he managed to distance himself from her without mentioning the lieutenant governor's name. It is extremely unfortunate anyone in elected office in Idaho must make statements like these, but let me be clear, the governor said. I fully reject racism in all its forms. There is no place for racism and hate in the great state of Idaho as governor. I will continue to stand up for Idahoans' values and work to make our state the place where our children and grandchildren choose to stay, he tweeted out. State Republican Party also putting out a statement about this today, about the views and sentiments of Nick Fuentes in the AFPAC event. White supremacy, anti-Semitism, bigotry, and neo-Nazism are reprehensible and have no place in the Idaho Republican Party. We always have and will continue to stand against these divisive ideologies. The promotion of hatred, bigotry, or the anti-American values of Russia is fundamentally incompatible with our shared conservative ideals and values. That's from Tom Luna, the chairman. Neither one mentioned McGeehan, by the way, but the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights did, and they had this to say. The lieutenant governor has chosen to stand with or speak to those who are in direct opposition to the center's mission to promote respect for human dignity and diversity. To plead ignorance is no defense. As an elected state official, she has both the duty and obligation to represent all the diversity within Idaho. She has abdicated that responsibility. However, McGeehan has refused to abdicate her elected position and will not resign from being lieutenant governor, despite many calls for her to do that. And she stands by her attendance at AFPAC, saying the media is playing a game of guilt by association, but also admitting she didn't look into what AFPAC was before agreeing to participate in it.